Hey guys, Johnny DeVille here on Route 66, traveling the mother road yet again. I'm currently in the town of Glen Rio. Now, I've actually been in this town before. Glen Rio is a ghost town. Not much here anymore, but I'm actually doing some drone footage, so I'm not really vlogging here, but you can go check back some of my other videos that I actually did a more in-depth video about this town. But yeah, Glen, Glen Rio, Texas and Glen Rio, New Mexico is where I'm at. And I will be doing all of Texas in my drone video. And so you can check that out later also. There's a motel with free continental breakfast. $29.99 per person. The Royal Inn, right next to it, a cafe. Route 66 is right there. Interstate 40 is right next to it. King and queen beds. No smoking in rooms. Free local calls and color TV. Here's the area you would check in right in there. Can't really see anything. But you come around back. Several rooms, there's rooms over there too. It's kind of creepy, there's a lot of keep out signs. And you do not know if squatters are here. And that is the last thing I want is a squatter coming and jumping me out here on the mother road. Hello? Very musty smelling. Now isn't this great, come to a rest stop on the route, danger rattlesnakes, stay away from rocks, tall weeds, and I wanted to go run through there, just think, there could be many rattlesnakes just hanging out around here, coiled up, ready to spring an attack, oh my goodness here on Route 66. Here is the Quanta Parker Trail. The Comanches and other tribes used to follow this little trail right through here that would actually become Route 66. And here they have an arrow right here commemorating this. And just think at one time no buildings, no highways, nothing. This was Comanche land, and they would follow the trails there to get from different locations. Here in McLean, Texas, on Route 66, is an old abandoned motel. You can tell by the grass being unkept. Growing in the parking lot. This was the parking lot. All the rooms. They had a restaurant and a motel here. You would have checked in right there. Can you imagine at one time, people that traveled the route, that traveled the mother road, stopping here at night or whenever, getting a room, going for breakfast or what have you. Sadly, it's all gone. Just a memory. Here in Shamrock, Texas, this is the last little town before 
entering into Oklahoma on Route 66. Here right out by an old Magnolia station that was built in 1929. It's pretty cool. Like a lot of places on Route 66 that dry up and die, this is one of them. I ate here last year, good food, but I just heard that the owner, Vern, died right around January and his wife just did not want to reopen. And because of COVID-19, you can tell they haven't fixed the grass and it's just totally dead now and I don't think they'll ever reopen. And this place was pretty really well known on Route 66. Right over there, you could park your car for a lot of parking. Come over here, have a great steak dinner. Now it's forever gone. Like a lot of Route 66 places. There we have the famous Conoco station, very influential to the movie Cars here in Shamrock. Here's the old Texan Motel on historic Route 66. There Route 66 is and there's the motel. Another one bites the dust. Hey, thanks for coming along with me on this panhandle trip of the Mother Road, the Texas portion. If you were new here and have not subscribed, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. I've got links below of other trips on Route 66 that I've taken. That's a tongue twister, Route 66. Anyway, do all that good stuff and I will see you on down the road.